animal breeding animal breeding is an important aspect of animal husbandry which aims at increasing the yield of animals and improving the desirable qualities of the produce a breed is a group of animal we have a definition here the breed is a group of animal related by the desire that related by descent and similar in most characters a breed a breed is a group of animals related by descent and similar in most characters like appearance feature size configuration etc the breed is a group of animal related by descent and similar in most characters like appearance feature size configuration then the following are the desirable qualities for which we breed animals that uh, which kind of breeds to be selected over it should be disease resistant and uh, the increase in the quality and quantity of the milk meat wool whatever the product we are taking the fast growth rate it should have because we are making an industry so the fast growth rate disease resistance increase in the quality and quantity of milk meat wool the fast growth rate and enhanced productive life by improving the genetic merit of livestock enhanced productive life by improving the genetic merit of livestock early maturity then economy of feed these are all the primary qualities required for to develop a breed basically we have two types of breeding techniques in breeding and out breeding in breeding and out breeding let's take a look on in breeding and out breeding uh, that uh, in breeding which include again to close breeding and line breeding close breeding and line breeding so let me go for that in breeding out breeding in that the close breeding and uh, line breeding out breeding include out crossing and cross breeding along with that species hybridization also we learn the primary basics and we'll get back so now uh, let's uh, let's talk about in breeding okay next uh, in breeding include what we say there are two close breeding and line breeding close breeding and line breeding okay then in breeding include two close breeding and line breeding let's talk about the, what kind of breeding we call close breeding close is there in the name that close that means it is the same breed first of all we have to remember the cross we are doing in same breed in case of both uh, uh, close breeding and line breeding same breeding type cross between the same breeding type keywords are very important here cross between the same breeding type in both close and uh, line breeding same breeding type the okay, same breeding type okay so what is breed actually what is a breed so let's talk from uh, that ancient uh, times actually this is uh, we are not doing it for that recently that is from ancient time for example in a flock we will take cows in a flock of cows if uh, that uh, that means in dairy industry we are talking here where the milk production a farmer is having some 10 cows among the 10 cows one cow is giving some 25 liters milk per every day a 25 liters of milk it is giving every day and the remaining nine cows are giving some 5 6 liters every day so uh, what a farmer think of this particular cow is giving that enough good amount of milk so that's why he allowed that this cow for breeding with uh, some bull or something so that means desirable bull that also will discuss but i am taking from this angle so uh, that what happens over a period of time he developed some four individuals of this kind of cow four individuals of this kind of cow he developed and after that means he didn't allow we call it as the uh, according to darwin we say it as artificial selection so farmer selected that in general in darwin natural selection itself the desirable characters containing organism will grow up and their next generation will grow up but here farmer did this that's why we call this as artificial selection he made some four individual that four individual developed a 16 likewise over a period of time some uh, the 10 15 20 years 100 years of time a flock of desirable cows are developed here now will give name for that particular desirable cow some 100 
or some thousand these kind of breeds are much developed so what do you say it as what do you say it as that's a breed that remaining also belongs to same species but it is a special breed now in the way in poultry also we are going to develop a broiler and layers just think of the same in case of them also okay so that a breed so i think you got uh, that um, if um, apart from the definition you should know what is actually breed because till the time we used a word called species species means we have a perfect definition for species morphologically similar physiologically similar can make them this to give the fertile offspring from the first year we are learning but what is a breed from the particular group of species from this flag out of the thousand i separated 10 who are having the great desirable character or above said character that what uh, we said over the disease resistance uh, that high yielding uh, uh, commercial value so that flag that uh, particular 10 member we developed we allowed them to breed that we continued the breeding over a period of time this kind of flag developed in 2000 so we name it as uh, that particular breed punjab murra breed for more famous for milk how we developed so in this way farmer develop we call it as artificial selection okay so that is breeding now let's see here in breeding out breeding in breeding include close breeding line breeding out breeding include out crossing and cross breeding in the close breeding what is close close breeding is a kind of breeding technique which we do the cross between very closely related animals cross between it's a cross between very closely related animals Yes, so that we say very closely related animal cross between closely related individuals is called close breeding closely related individuals is said to be close breeding okay next line breeding same breeding type here also that little distant relatives there as a keyword i am saying little distant relatives little distant relatives we the say here that a uh, uh, line breeding little distant relative also we can call it as cousin mating very close related individuals we say close breeding and uh, little distant relatives what do you call it as cousin mating okay next uh, let's go with out breeding out breeding what is out breeding out breeding the second one out breeding out breeding include to out breeding include to out crossing cross breeding out breeding include out crossing and cross breeding there are two again let me write them out out crossing out crossing and cross breeding so just need to relate these particular words here out crossing out crossing that means the same breeding type here also the same breeding type same breeding type but no relation same breeding type but no relation okay so that to be remembered over same breeding type but no relation we say out crossing okay then cross breeding cross breeding between the two different breeds between the two different breeds Okay, so that means Murra, Punjab Murra, famous for milk production. Punjab Murra male cross with that Hyderabad local female cow. So what we call that is the happen between the two different breeding type between the two different breed. The cross breeding is said to be between the two different breed. Then out crossing, out crossing is said to be that same breeding type. Okay, so that see the four at once before we get into the topic. that in breeding include to close breeding line breeding cross between closely related individuals is called close breeding little distant relatives is called cousin mating and uh, out crossing same breeding type but no relation then cross breeding between the two different breeds okay next that there is a third one actually that is species hybridization it is passed what do you say that in breeding then it include to close breeding line breeding and uh, out breeding out crossing cross breeding then uh, the the another one is there actually which we don't regularly practice this kind of breeding but 
for some special cases we do this species hybridization species hybridization what is species hybridization between the two different species when we do between the two different species of same genera which is sometimes possible it is uh, that sometimes possible between the cross between the two different species we have uh, that we have to understand species between the two different species okay so of same genera actually uh, if it, they are belongs to same genera only it is possible actually that means panthera tigris panthera leo that uh, both are the tiger and lion tigris and leo are species belongs to genus panthera there sometimes it's possible sometimes breeding is possible but no fertile offsprings will get we call it as liger we are heard about this liger we say that kind okay or uh, uh, the cross between the horse and uh, ass donkey what do you say mule well known isn't it so that mule that uh, what do you call there as mule guinea whatever so that uh, between the two different species we are doing as we know within the species when we do the breeding only the fertile offsprings will come but when we do that between the two different species really not possible but very closely related species of a particular genera are possible so that uh, times the fertile offsprings you can't expect sterile offsprings will come okay so now now let us see the order okay order the close breeding within the same breed close breeding cross between closely related individuals line breeding within the same breed little distant relatives cousin mating we say out crossing same breeding type but no relation then cross breeding between the two different breeds what is common on this particular four close line out crossing and cross breeding what is the common one within the species we are doing all this four okay then when it comes to the species hybridization here it is between the two different species we are doing okay so these are the primary basics here now let's get into the topic that uh, methods of animal breeding the broadly two methods of breeding in breeding and out breeding when crossing is done between the animals of the same breed it is called we should not miss that concept line for every heading when crossing is done between the animals of the same breed it is called in breeding it refers to mating of more closely related individuals within the same breed of individuals in a lineage the breeding strategy is the identification and mating of superior males and superior females with the desirable character of the same breed a superior female in the case of cattle is the cow bass indicus or a bar that a buffalo vivalis vivalis that produces more milk per lactation on the other hand <coughs> a superior male is the bull which gives rise to superior progeny as compared to those of other male the progeny obtained from such matings are evaluated and the superior ones among them are used for mating purpose okay next inbreeding is of two types close breeding line breeding as we already said it was done with the relatives then close breeding close breeding mating between the male parent sire we call male parent female offspring or female dam we use it to say okay with male offspring that uh, uh, what do you say line breeding that sorry close breeding closing close breeding is a mating between the male parent and female offspring and female with male offspring very close relatives isn't it male parent and the the female offspring female parent with male offspring that uh, what do you say that close breeding line breeding which is called cousin mating is a selective breeding of animal for a desired feature by mating them with in a closely related line but not as close as close breeding it leads to upgrading to improve the quality of life stack that i upgrading upgrading i'll explain specially the upgrading required a cross breeding also to improve the quality of livestock by selective breeding for desired characters okay of a desired commercial uh, character then next advantages what are the advantages of inbreeding inbreeding increases homozygosity 
Thus, inbreeding is necessary if we want to evolve a pure line animal. That when we do this particular, when we are going to evolve a pure line animal. Okay, then remember that word hybrid we use generally. So, uh, the, from basics of Mendel tall plant, Mendel dwarf plant. So, what we get? Heterozygous tall plant. Is it a hybrid tall plant? Okay, that means this is like uh, the, we are doing from different uh, other uh, the two breeds when we are doing what what will come heterozygosity will come but uh, that same like uh, let us apply here when tall plant pure is crossed with pure only what we gave only uh, homozygous so that's what we are talking in that particular way no new characters will be added here but at least at least the retaining character the same characters will be retained over okay so it helps in the accumulation of the superior genes and elimination of the less desirable genes. This approach where there is a selection of each step increases productivity of inbred population. These are all advantages, but disadvantages we have. Inbreeding may express harmful recessive alleles and the phenotypes that are generally eliminated by natural selection, actually, but uh, the concern, that exposure of the harmful alleles that we use this kind of thing in case of human beings also. The marriages between the closely related individuals is to expose the recessive characters and that leads to various kinds of disorders we use it to say, isn't it? So that similar kind here also. The continued inbreeding, especially close breeding, usually reduces the fertility and even productivity. We call it as inbreeding depression. We call it as inbreeding depression. Okay. So, uh, these are disadvantages of inbreeding. Disadvantages of inbreeding. Then we have advantages to maintain the homozygosity, but uh, disadvantages, the very greatest disadvantage, inbreeding depression. Loss of vigor, we usually say. But whenever inbreeding depression becomes a problem, selected animals of the breeding population should be mated with unrelated superior animals of the same breed. This usually helps to restore the fertility and yield. Okay, next, outbreeding. Outbreeding. What is outbreeding? It includes two. That uh, here, uh, outbreeding is a breeding of unrelated animals. That's the first thing to remember. Outbreeding is a three types. Outcrossing, crossbreeding, interspecific hybridization. Okay, first of all, let us see the outcrossing. It is the practice of mating of animals within the same breed, but having no common ancestors on either side of the pedigree for four to six generations. No relation from last four to six generations. The offspring of such mating is known as an outcross. It is the best breeding method for animals that are below average in milk production. Growth rate. In uh, case of beef cattle, we have to see the growth rate. At times, single outcross often helps to overcome inbreeding depression. A single outcross often helps to overcome inbreeding depression. Okay, next, cross breeding. In this method, superior males of one breed are mated with superior females of another breed between the two different breeding types we are doing here. Okay, the offspring of such mating is said to be a cross breed. Cross breeding. Crossbreeding allows it the desirable qualities of the two different breeds to be combined. The progeny crossbreeds are not only used for commercial production, but also inbreeding and uh, the selection to develop the stable breeds which may be superior to existing breeds. So for example, we have an example here, Hitherdale. Hitherdale is a new breed of sheep developed in Punjab by crossing Bicanary eaves and Marino rams. Bicanary eaves and Marino rams. By looking this, something is uh, coming into your memory that we have a 2020 neat question paper with this question. Hither Dale is a new breed sheep developed in Punjab by crossing two different breeds, Bicanary eaves and Marino rams. Okay, so we'll, we'll stop here and we have to see. Uh, that uh, upgrading, which is the new practice which people use it to do here, the grading up or upgrading, we use it to say. That means by taking the advantages of that uh, uh, breeding as well as close breeding, this kind of practice is going to be done over. Grading up. 
or uh, we say that upgrading, grading up or upgrading, we say. So that, we, that word is mentioned in our text, but not given in clear and detail. So let me show you by taking an example that uh, I'll give an example here. With that example, we'll go. Okay. So for example, uh, as I'm mentioning from the, uh, from the beginning, that uh, Murra, Punjab Murra breed is very famous for the milk production. Punjab Murra. Okay. So the crossing the Murra male. Okay. I'm saying milk production and I'm saying male. What is this exactly? That means you need to understand the milk production quality in the dairy. Milk production is in the dairy is having some properties. That means milk production genes. Where, what do you think where they are present in male or female milk production genes? Milk production genes, where they present in male or female? Milk production genes are present in both male and female. We learn this in genetics. This is sex limited inherited. Sex limited inherited. That means genes present in male and female. Genes are present in both male and female, but expression seen only in the case of female. Okay, so expression seen only in the case of female. We call it as sex limited inheritance. That is the one basic you need to learn. And other polygenic inheritance, milk production is a polygenic inheritance. What is polygenic inheritance? The milk production gene, gene, it's not gene, it's a group of genes that uh, multiple genes are going to uh, be responsible for these kind of uh, expression. That means as more number of dominant genes, that more amount of milk production we are talking about. Polygenic inheritance, many poly, many genic genes, many genes express this character. Okay, so this is uh, uh, some of the basics to be remembered. So with this, I think, so I can announce here that Punjab Murra breed is high yield milk production, participation of whom? Male or female? Both. That in that way. Okay. So now the question raises again one more that how does we come to know a particular male because there is no gene expression, isn't it? Genes are present. Milk production genes are present in the male also, in the bull also, but there is no any, but there is no any expression, isn't it? There is no any expression. 